This is Casey Lacroix with Red Carpet Report at the season three premiere of Youthful Days in West Hollywood. Well, first of all, you look gorgeous. Thank you so much. I'm loving these shoes. Thanks. Where did you get them? Um, I got them from Shoe Dazzle, let's be oh. honest. And they were on sale. Hey, not too shabby. So tell us a little bit about your character. Natalie Carden is amazing. She's super sassy, but unlike my character on Days of Our Lives, Teresa, she's a really good girl. Um, she's made a lot of mistakes in the past, and she's just wants to change the world for good now. She's, she was tired of money and materialism, so she kind of brings a different dynamic and, and kind of thwarts a lot of people's uh, evil plans. What has your character taught you as a person? <laughs> I know, right? Um, oh my gosh. I don't know. I've taught Natalie some things. Oh. I don't know. She hasn't taught me anything. Because the character was actually based off of me and the way I talk. So really, like, I'd be reading the script, and Brian's one of my friends, the creator. And um, I'd be like, that is exactly how I talk. Like, I didn't know how much I said dude. But I'm totally like a bro when it comes to, like, guys. I have brothers and... Yeah. Natalie hasn't taught me anything. <laughs> I wish I had a better answer, but I can't like BS it. So No, that's totally fine. So tell us a little bit about you as an actress yourself. Where, how did you get your start, and how did we end up here at Youthful Days? Um, in a nutshell, how I got my start is I was stage fright growing up, so I never, ever thought I wanted to be an actor. And I auditioned for a film in Virginia on a whim, an indie film. I got cast as the lead which I was terrified to do uh, and I think as a joke to myself was like okay I could do this and I, I got on set and I realized I wasn't afraid of the camera and kind of just fell in love with acting and I always knew I thought I wanted to be a lawyer but I, I always knew that what I wanted to do in life was make a lot of money to give it away and have like a platform to be able to talk to people so acting is actually a very natural fit for that so absolutely so like you said you, you you've done you you're into charities yeah. like that's very big yeah um, tell us what charities you're you're supporting right now uh, all of my charities are on my website jenlily.com l-i-l-l-e-y but um, I work a lot with child help and innocent justice foundation so we work to combat child abuse uh, here in the United States as well as A21 and One Less Ministries which is uh, involved with human trafficking and Children of the Night which deals with child prostitution which are all huge problems in this country. I'm actually working on some PSAs in order to raise money to make a documentary in 2016 about child pornography in the United States which is a very hard topic to swallow. But it's a huge issue here that people don't know is going on behind our, you know, behind closed doors. So. Absolutely. So um, since you are involved in charities, have you done the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge yet? Okay, listen, I majored in geology and um, really into the earth. And California is in a crazy, crazy drought. Yeah. So I donated instead and, and <laughs> did my thumbs up. And I tweeted other people's videos, but I ended up not doing it. But literally, I'm the girl that, like, I don't care if I have mud on my face or, like, on my teeth because I'm into physical comedy. But I didn't want to waste water. So. You didn't want to waste water. Well, yeah. I mean, I can't even like fault you for that. Like, that's wonderful. Thanks. It's a, it's a big problem right now in California. So. Absolutely. Yeah. What? How many years have they been in a drought now? Like four? Uh, well, if you, there's a whole thing going trending on the internet right now with the past three years, and it's really scary. I mean, like we all need to like do rain dances or like pray for rain or something because it's really bad. But yeah. Okay. So tell us right now, like what you are most looking forward to for season three of Youthful Days. Oh my gosh, having my weekends back <laughs> because I work five days a week on days. No, um, I don't know. I just can't wait for, for people to get, I don't know, uh, you know, to meet my character and see kind of how she spices things up because Brian's a great writer and he's kind of a, a freaky genius and a mastermind. And just when you think it's going one way, you know, it goes the other. So I'm really excited about watching all the turns that I don't even know because the whole cast didn't even get the whole script. We got like isolated scripts. So I'm in for all the surprises with the audience. That's amazing. Yeah. So, okay. So who are you closest with right now on set? Oh, Jade Harlow and Candace Mole are like two of my best friends in the whole wide world. So uh, I love them. And so all the girls. have you worked with them previously? Jade and I uh, worked on Days of Our Lives together, um, and then Candace is Australian. She's like a huge star there, and so uh, she she's my friend from church, and so I brought her on. That's awesome. Yeah. So give us, uh, tell our viewers, give us some advice about acting and, and even just life advice for, for the young people who do watch Youthful Days. 
For the young people that do watch Youthful Days, um, don't follow in the lives of these teenagers because they're horrible people and you actually will have consequences to life actions. But follow your dreams. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something. You're amazing. You're created with a purpose and on purpose. And if you set your mind to something and you work hard and you realize that you know things are a business and if you work hard and you're tenacious, you will come out on the end. So just follow your dreams, guys. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much. Of course. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like us. Also subscribe for more interviews and make sure you leave us a comment. Don't forget to watch Youthful Days on Hulu.